Hello, Cancer. I'm hoping you guys are doing well. We're going to go ahead and do a reading for the rest of the month. And this will be for uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just uh, using the Celtic Cross spread, see what the energies are. What do you guys need to know? What's going on with Cancer, please? From the 17th through the 30th of November. Celtic Cross spread. What does Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know, please? One more, please. Okay. It looks like you guys are very resistant, very apprehensive. It has to do with a decision that has been made. There's a lot of tension. There's a lot of struggle. Let's see. We have the Eight of Pentacles. It's being crossed by the Hermit. A lot of Virgo energy right now, by the way. The Knight of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords. The Six of Wands, we have the Hangman, the Seven of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Sun, and the Fool. In uh, the immediate future and the outcome, and we will look, but it's two major arcana, so I feel like it's going to be a very important event for you guys. So let's start with the Eight of Pentacles. What do you need to know overall, the situation? Uh, this, it can be about work or it can be about a relationship. It, other way it's kind of something that is being progressed it's going to the point again that uh, overcoming the obstacles overcoming the waiting game whatever you have invested now it's just kind of improving if you have someone a virgo energy or any person here they're very dedicated to you this is kind of a person that wants to build on something now what is crossing you it's very much that there's been a lot of introspection there's been a lot of going within yourself Maybe you have been isolating yourself or maybe you have concentrated so much on this situation because it's coming with perfectionism. It's coming that everything has to be improved, working towards it. So this is the obstacle. I, I feel like it's mostly not a helping situation. It's just an obstacle. Okay, I found uh, you know my way or I've done a lot of isolation. How can I come out of this? And I'm saying this because at the foundation, of why is this happening? We have communication. We have that immediate type of decision here is the charging knight the knight that doesn't care feels like you know something i'm going to take uh you know a decision or make i'm going to make a decision and i don't care what so it's kind of ki coming out of this improvement or just waiting and trying that every little detail has to be improved you or the person that you're connecting is just wants to charge in and kind of communicate in the past you may have felt like again you have to make your uh point clear with someone because of these two swords right here you may have wanted to cut someone off or again kind of feeling that uh, clarity was not there that uh, an idea was not being expressed someone was not uh, being clear with you so i feel like that's in the past I, i'm getting mostly like to the point that you might have said something right away and expected a decision to uh, have been made what is going on though in your mind what will you see the best situation ending you know for the next few weeks well with the six of wands you see victory not only you have this charging in not only that you feel like things are improving and you have done your homework with the hermit you feel like no matter what you need to be recognized you need to be successful that's where your goals will be or that's where your conscious mind will be but and we are going to clarify a little bit further here what is coming the immediate situation we have the hanging man you might feel like you have to look at different perspective again or feel like right now all you have to do is just stay there and look in different direction you also might feel like you're tired of self-sacrificing you, you, this may be also a person that is coming towards you but remember the biggest challenge is to kind of have this public persona or come out there with this success and not hiding so the hanging man is kind of saying that you still will feel like okay i need to do more work that's the immediate situation and it's because when it comes to your attitude you right now are trying to discern between reality and fantasy. There's the Venus in Scorpio energy. There's the infatuation. There's the many desires. There's the daydreaming that you have. Remember, in the past, you wanted clarity. And it looks like you still are a little bit overwhelmed regarding your desires. 
It might be that right now, again, even if you don't get the clarity that you seek, it's because you still are infatuated or you still feel like there's many options out there and you have not decided which one. That's your behavior though. And I feel like it's mirroring your environment as well because here we have by the way two scorpio energy we have venus and mars the feminine and the masculine energy what do you need to know regarding a person or a situation that is external to you well they are regretful they feel at loss as well they they kind of holding on to this um pining love or again whatever has happened in the past they still have regrets over it and it may be the self-sacrificer here the martyr energy that is coming with the hangman no matter what, though, you have hope that things are going to become better. You know that whatever is being worked, whatever is being improved, is going to bring light and positive outcome towards you. So I, I feel like even if you feel right now that you have all these dreams and infatuation and kind of trying to make sense which way to go, I feel like this feels a little bit like an emotional addiction, the, uh, the Seven of Cups. But the sun tells me that no matter what, look at this. Two, we have Jupiter in Leo and we have Sun, which is a very Leo energy. So we're talking about romance, we're talking about leadership, but also we're talking about confidence. So you are confident that whatever has been worked, whatever it is, um, this may be a Virgo if you're dealing with this person that kind of been isolating and finding their way, you're close to that positive outcome. Now, the best situation with the Eight of Pentacles is kind of taking a leap of faith, starting you. Not everything has to be, uh, again, kind of looked at every detail he's saying to be a little bit more spontaneous or this is whatever have you been working at or improving or your relationship there is going to be a new beginning it's in a positive way you, you are going to come out of this self-sacrificing and hanging in there and waiting but let's clarify to get a little bit more what's going on what do you need to know what is that new start in your life what is this fresh beginning Okay, so we're going to clarify from uh, the Eight of Pentacles. We're going to clarify the Hermit, the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, the Hangman, the Seven of Cups, Five of Cups, the Sun, and the Four. One more, please. We have this attractive queen and there's the nine of wands. I feel like there's a lot of barriers or there's a lot of apprehensive energy. Again, with the two of wands, a decision will be made soon for you guys, but it's coming with a lot of blockages. What is that eight of pentacles? Oh, wow. The ten of wands. This is someone that has been dedicating a lot of time and improving regarding uh, a goal. There may be a responsibility or a burden. You are at the finish line. There's still a little bit more work and you're still improving on it, but definitely has to do with something that is, um, I don't want to say a burden. I feel like it's a goal that you feel very passionate about. It can be also a person that you feel like you have to go towards it, but you carry a lot of responsibility regarding like making it this happen whatever it is that is heavy on your shoulders okay so that's why i feel like the hermit is someone that needs to get come out of isolation or whatever introspection and kind of set sail it's time to make plans that's that's what i feel like the over what you need to overcome here cancer it's time to come out of that isolation it's like ships are coming in. Prepare. I know you may feel tired because you feel like you have been working a lot or you have put a lot of dedication. You are very close uh, to that new start in your life. Okay, we have the lovers. So now we're talking about not only this is a major decision in your life, but you or you're waiting for some type of communication or you want, again, to make it clear the connection that you have with this person. It's like the immediate situation is that you want to go uh, right away, open up, have contact, communicate. But the hermit tells me again that there's been some type of um, isolation there. Like the, the intentions are not set. And it's like, again, maybe because you work a lot for some of you, maybe because, again, you have to improve something, you have other responsibilities. But at the foundation of this, we are talking about this immediate decision regarding two people. 
All right, so in the past, the clarity here when it comes to this Page of Cups, to me, it's someone expressing their feelings. An apology for some of you, but getting clear regarding someone's feelings. That was in the past. That was the intention. That's what is kind of still lingering here because it's bringing a kind of, it's tying with a situation that you want. Remember, you do feel a kind of a sense of feeling overwhelmed regarding these many desires that you have or options, but nothing right now is concrete. And in the past, it was just kind of this contact of someone expressing their feelings, opening up, being clear regarding their feelings. <clears throat> Okay, some of you may be dealing also with the Leo, and I'm saying this because I'm getting a lot of Leo energy. But overall, what and it can be a fire sign on every person. It doesn't really matter. We have all the elements here. But in your mind, I feel like if this is you, for my male viewers, first of all, with the King of Wands, uh, you're ready kind of, you know, to go after what you feel you deserve after this victory. Larger than life. That's how I see the King of Wands is very much charismatic but can be a little bit my way type of situation. The status, the image is very important. That's what's going on. Now, this may be the person that you admire, Cancer, the person that you're hoping for, that you will get their attention or recognition from, uh, because this is your conscience. This is what you see best possible outcome here. Well, the immediate situation, and again, because we're looking for the rest of the month, is kind of patience. That's how I see it. It's waiting patiently uh, over a, a little bit idealization here. It's like two people. Both of these are kind of integrating, by the way, and both are major arcana. Ar arcana. So the immediate situation is just kind of waiting, healing, introspection, uh, kind of balancing each other's feelings, having this uh, Neptunian energy, which means, again, it's kind of a fairy tale type of energy between two people. So... Not much action right away, and no wonder because the hermit is there. So this is what you are looking at. There's a lot of emotional whirlwind with you guys. That's your behavior, kind of very faded with the Wheel of Fortune. The many dreams of, again, two people being together or things changing. That's your behavior. I feel like, in a way, you leave this to fate with this energy, with this attitude. But I feel like you feel overwhelmed. There's a lot of up and down energy regarding your feelings overall and your desires. <clears throat> Why you have this kind of person external to you that they feel regret or emotional loss or holding on to some type of lost love. The Knight of Wands tells me again, it's the same kind of energy with the King of Wands. I want to charge in. We have passionate uh, type of action. Not only we have the Knight of Swords at the foundation that the person wants to charge in towards the, this lover connection or these two people that kind of mirror each other, but even outside, even in your external, someone is waiting for action. And again, the action has not been happening. There's been inconsistency. Maybe something happened very fast and it hot or cold going on here. But the regret is because of that consistency. It's because someone has the chemistry, the passion, but they cannot act on it. All right, so this is your hopes and fears. As I mentioned, you are willing to wait, Cancer, with that Eight of Pentacles, and you're willing to work and multitask and dedicate. That's the endurance that you have there. But overall, you're hoping that, again, whatever you have put in, it's that kind of being rewarded for it. You're hoping that, again, good karma is coming in, justice is coming towards you, positive outcome, especially because, remember, you do believe in this faded situation and you believe that things will change. Even if you right now feel overwhelmed, that's what you're going to hope, that certain things are coming, are balancing out for you in this situation. Okay, so the King of Swords, the best possible outcome, the decision has to be made. Now, it has to be an, a calculated risk. I want to clarify, by the way, that King of Swords, because when I get a court course, I want to know more. He's saying that what will be the situation out of this patience and waiting and looking at different perspective, that someone will finally take this risk, this calculated risk. That's how I see a King of Swords. We have two kings right now. We have the King of Wands and the King of Swords. Both are very action-oriented. But let's see. I want to see who is this King of Swords that is taking this initiative. If this is you, he's saying basically go for it. Ooh. Okay, there's been a lot of isolation and solitude, but a lot of planning. Okay. 
Okay, we have Sun in Scorpio, also a person from the past. Here you are. I feel like this is a dedication to someone from the past and the King of Wands is the person here that you have in your mind or this may be you guys. Remember, depending who's watching for my cross watchers. Oh my God, the Two of Cups with the Five of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, now the Two of Cups is Venus in Cancer. The King of Swords is... <laughs> What a, what a mess. And I'm saying because we have Venus um, in Cancer and Venus in Aquarius. And here we have the methodical night coming in. There will be a new beginning regarding this person. It does not have to be air sign. It can be anything. But it's a decision, again, that they're trying to kind of stay logical. They are driven by the connection here. They This may be someone that you work with or there's someone that you feel a connection with the two of cups it's coming with some type of conflict though it's someone here that wants to take a step again the calculated step because uh to me i don't want to get defeated i don't want to get hurt or it may be because there's some conflict of interest regarding this decision so whatever the decision this leap of faith it's going to connect you this is definitely a connection that kind of has to do with so many venus energy venus in scorpio venus in aquarius venus in uh Cancer, again, we have a lot when it comes to pleasure, to values. So I feel like the decision will be made. Someone is ready to do anything in the name of love. But again, they're very calculated. They're very methodical about it uh, in this situation. So you or your person that is coming towards you, they are ready to, to kind of start something new. Even if it's coming with a lot of conflict, they are thinking, they are planning. I hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.